Nilikuwa kwa siku ya barikiwa ya jana katika mahali pagyota eh, tamo kule porini. Na kweli naweza kushukuru mungu kwa jiri ya nungu ya mtume Titus. Mbae aliweza kumisaidia hata nikafika katika mule mlima mule porini. Chungaji Raju na mimi kwa 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 na wakati mzuri sana Kwa kwa ni na shukuru mungu kwa jiri ya upendo wake kwa kwa na kila kitu wa pacho kwa 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 ni nimeweza kubarikiwa pia kwa kwa hapa katika eneo hila tarazani Kwa jiri ya kushirikisha upendo wako Thank you, dear Dr. Titus, for your love and your prayers. Thank you, dear saints and servants of God, for your love and your prayers. Let us all stand in the house of God to seek the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand in the house of God to seek the presence of the Holy Spirit. Ito wa Biblia ya kuchu Na nataka useme maopi haya pa kuja nami Father we come to you to the blood of Jesus Baba tunakuja kwa kwa kupitia nami ya Yesu Thank you Father for loving me so much Asante Baba kwa achiri ya kujipenda mimi sana Asante Yesu kwa chiri ya nema yako chiri ya maisha yako Asante Yesu kwa chiri ya nema yako chiri ya maisha yako Thank you dear Holy Spirit for your help and guidance Asante Rokta Katifu kwa chiri ya msada na maungozi yako I believe in my heart Na amini katika mwe wangu Jesus Christ died for me on the cross. Jesus Christ, will you come and save me? Will you come and save me? Yes, Christ, will you come and save me? After three days, he rose again. After three days, he rose again. Jesus is the Lord of my life. 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 Yesu niye kwa na kufuka katika maisha yamu Yesu niye kwa na kufuka katika maisha yamu I'm a new creation in Jesus Mimi ni kiumbe kiki ya nani ya Yesu Jesus is alive inside of me Yesu ni uhai nani ya kumini Yesu ni uhai nani ya kumini Spirit of the Lord is upon me Roo takatifu yu juu ya kumini Kuponya wa gonjwa Kuponya wa gonjwa To set the captives free Kuafugua wa niofugwa kuwa huu To proclaim the news to the poor Kutangaza habari njema kwa watu masikini Kutangaza habari njema kwa watu masikini I'm anointed I'm anointed Mimi ni papa mafuta Ibe barikiwa Holy Spirit is my helper Rote katifu wewe ni msaidizi wangu Holy Spirit is my teacher Rote katifu ni mwalimu wangu I'm willing to receive Inaamini ni meoko The love of God Kwa upendo wa mungu I'm willing to obey the word of God. I'm willing to obey the word of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your lordship. Asante, wana Yesu kwa chini ya upana. I love you, Jesus. Na kupenda Yesu. I love you Holy Spirit. 
na kupenda roho takatifu in jesus name i agree and i pray katika jina la yesu kristo ninaamini na kuomba kuomba amen 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 Bwana Yesu anakupenda. How are you all? Habari zetu ndugu zangu wote. Yesu anakupenda. Yesu anakupenda. I'm happy to be here in the house of God. Ndio furaha kuwepo tena katika nyumba ya Mungu. Pray also for few minutes I'm going to encourage you with the word of God. Katika muda mchache tu tunakwenda kuangalia neno la Mungu. And later I will enter into the teaching. Na baadaye tena kidogo tutakwenda kuingia katika mafundisho. Now I'm going to enter into the preaching. Na sasa hapa nakwenda kuandaa tu mafundisho. Please come back. Topic from the Bible of Faith. Tunakwenda kuangalia somo kuhusiana na neema. Purpose of life. Kusudi la maisha semeni kila mtu kusudi la maisha kusudi la maisha nini ni kusudi la maisha God created everything for a purpose Mungu aliumba kila kitu kwa ajili ya kusudi. God does everything with a purpose. Mungu hufanya kila kitu ikiwa na kusudi. John the Gospel. Katika injili ya Yohana chapter 15. Ile sura ya 15 was in chapter John the Gospel chapter 15 was 16 wa 16 John 15 was 16 Yohana 15 mstari wa 16 You did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you John 15 was 16 Si nini Si nini mlio nichagua Mlio nichagua mimi bali ni mimi nilie wachagua nini Nami nikawaweka mpate kuzaa matunda na matunda yenu yapate kukaa ili kwamba lolote mbalo baba kwa jina lako awapende everybody say after me kila mtu aongee jina yako mimi don't be a liar and say you did not choose me hebu angalie jirani yako ambaye wewe huku nichagua you did not choose me wewe huku nichagua mimi you did not choose me wewe huku nichagua mimi you did not choose me wewe huku nichagua mimi Mimi siwezi tena 
Yesu kuogopa hata uumbaji huu. Hata mazingira ya neno zunguka. Jesus is going to leave you, not forsake you, because he loves you. 
Ni na maisha yako glorify the name of Father Jehovah Ni kulitukuza chini la Papa Mungu Jehovah You are here for a purpose You are here for a purpose The purpose of life is to glorify the name of Jesus Ni kulitukuza chini la Mungu Jehovah Hebu mgeukie jirani yako alafu muulize nani atatusaidia kunifahamu 
Allahu sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Holy Spirit, Roh Takatif, helps you and I to understand the purposes of God. Dia dewa tak perlu saya dia, ni bina wewe tu dia lewa usul di laku. Shout loudly, Holy Spirit. Ebu punya di sana sebab Roh Takatif is my helper. Dia yang bina saya di sini aku. Holy Spirit is my helper. So I'm happy today. People will say many things against you. People will blame you. What you wanna waste to pull out the way? People may reject you. What you wanna waste to pull out the way? People may disturb you. Holy Spirit helps us to remember. 
Asante kwa ajili au shukuru kwa ajili ya Roho Mtakatifu. Katika chochote kile ambacho amekifanya. Purpose of life is to remember his faithfulness. Kusudi la maisha ni kukumbuka kule uaminifu wa Mungu. Purpose of life is to thank him for his faithfulness. Kusudi la Mungu ni kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya ule uaminifu wake. Mimi na wewe kiumbe kilichokuwa Mimi na wewe tunapaswa kumwabudu Mungu wetu Jehova Katika roho na kweli Wewe mtakatifu utusaidia sisi kuweza kuabudu Hivi Mungu anatutaka kutoka kwako na kwako mimi Kini mungu hana furaha ili ya vitu Kabo na maugari na vizi hiyo inyanishi Kwa mimi takuwa na furaha Kabo tanipa papai mimi takuwa na furaha Mungu mungu na furaha kama kina kwa mungu Mungu huwatafuta wale wanaoguo katika roho na kweli. Purpose of life is to worship him. Kusudi katika maisha ni kumwabudu. Worship. Kuabudu not with lips. Sio kwa kutumia bibi tu. Worship not with head prayers. Kwa kumwabudu si kwa kutumia akili tu. Worship. Kuabudu katika roho na kweli. Mwabudu baba Katika roho na kweli Eku kusakini mwana kwa kwa kusakini mwana kwa 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 Ayo wakofi ni akitika ni mwakufu kubi Eku kika mwakofi kwa 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 ni kuweza kuchua hili Do you know the presence of Tanzania? Che, na mchua raisi wa Tanzania How many of you know? Wakati wa na mchua raisi wa Tanzania You all know the name of President Wote hapa tu na mchua jina lake uyu raisi Let me ask you one question Kwa jani wa ulize sana Does your President know your name? Che, raisi wa mchua raisi wa jina lako Does your president know your name? No. No. Apa? President of my country, India, does not know my name. We have a president. His name is Jesus, who is the president of all the nations, all the universe. We know that he is the name. Today, yes, we have a president. I am Jua. He does not know me. He does not know me. Jewa jiwa idani ya meneza kwa Does anyone know in this whole universe? Jewa, kuna mtu wapaya na jiwa Idani ya iso jwele But Bible says Lakini kini ya sema How many hands are falling every day? Hallelujah Yeah, yeah. 
kile kisichowezekana kwake kinawezekana with god all things are possible kwa mungu kila kitu kinawezekana kwa mungu kila kitu kinawezekana all things are possible with my lord and savior jesus kila kitu kinawezekana kwa yesu kristo bwana na mwokozi wangu you know what worry about anything in life che kwa kweli hautakui kuwa na wasiwasi kwa kitu chochote katika maisha hapa purpose of life is to know him kusudi la maisha ni kumjua yeye to know him means to have a relationship kumjua yeye maana yake ni kuwa na mahusiano au kuwa na uhusiano naye na unatembea pamoja naye na unaishi pamoja naye na unakula pamoja naye na unatumika pamoja naye huyo ndio tunasema iti mesi ya ule undani pamoja naye purpose of life for you and I to have intimacy with Jesus kusudi la maisha ni kuwa na ule uhusiano wa ndani pamoja na Kristo intimacy with the holy spirit ule uhusiano wa ndani na roho ule kuhusiana wa ndani na kanisa this is the purpose of life ili ndio kusudi la Mungu katika maisha yetu purpose of life why are you alive today kusudi la maisha why are you alive today kwa nini wewe leo uko hai you are alive today to glorify the name of Jesus uko hai hapa kwa ajili ya kutukuza jina la Bwana Bibi niko hai kwa ajili ya kunitukuza jina la Bwana. I was born in a Roman Catholic family. Bibi nilizaliwa katika familia ya Wakatoliki. My grandparents were idol worshippers. Wale babu zangu walikuwa ni wa Mungu sanamu. My grandpa is to worship the creation. Walikuwa wakiabudu uumbaji. India has 33 millions of gods and goddesses. Huko India kuna miungu 300. I think the millions of gods. Ah, the millioni 33 miungu. Many Indians worship Sakti. Wa hindi wengi wanaabudu jua. Many Indians worship moon. Wa hindi wengi wanaabudu mwezi. Many Indians worship tree. Wa hindi wengi wanaabudu miti. Wahidi wengi wanaabudu nyani. Many Indians worship snake. Wahidi wengi wanaabudu nyoka. Many Indians worship water. Wahidi wengi wanaabudu papa machi. Many Indians worship baby. Wahidi wengi wanaabudu
kugunduma kwa miaka kumi kwa hiyo akaiacha hiyo sabato akaondoka India kwa hiyo akaja Dubai kutengeneza pesa
Katika kile kitabu cha Warudi 14 inasema, "Na ufalme wa Mungu si kula wala kunywa, Baba yake akamwandikia barua, Bwana niletee pesa house. nyumba hapa. If you don't send money. Kama hujitumii pesa, if you don't build house. Kama hujengi nyumba, your mother and I are going to come and suicide. When mimi na mama yako tunaweza tukajiona. Tukajiua. I saw the letter. Aliona barua ile anasoma. What should I do? Je, mtafanyaje? I have no job. Sikuwa na kazi. No money. Sina pesa. Support mother, father. Ili kuweza kuwasaidia baba na mama yako. Father, mother wants me to help them. Baba na mama wanahitaji niwasaidie. What did I do? Je, nifanyeje? I pray. <coughs> Nikaomba. I pray. Nikaomba. Always will help me. Roho mtakatifu nisaidie. Lord Jesus says. Yes, I know God call you as a servant but I call you as my friend. Sikia kuita wewe kwa mtoto wako na rafiki wako. Always when says, Roho mtakatifu akasema, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Siwezi kukuacha wala kukutupa. If you saw me, kama utanitumikia, if you leave your mother and your father, your children for the sake of kingdom of God. you will see them in heaven. Come again. If you leave your mother, your father, your children for the kingdom of God. Kama utawacha baba yako ni mama yako kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu, you will see them in heaven. Utapokea vile vya mbinguni. I left my mother and my father ili mwache baba na mama I told the letter I do it in the trash nikachukua ile baba ile ile barua nikaicha na chake kaitupa katika katika chombo cha kutupia taka I was in the garden nilikuwa katika hiyo eneo la waislamu my mother my father went to the bridge to jump into the river to commit suicide kwa hiyo baba yake mama yake wakawa wameenda katika eneo lile la fukwe kwa nia mtakujitupa ili waweze kujiua. I did not protect them. Bibi sikuweza kuwalinda. Two angels had come. Lakini malaika wawili walikuja. Two police had come. Polisi wale maaskari wawili walikwenda. My father and my mother were about to jump into the they were to come to suicide. Wakati wazazi wangu wanataka kujitupa ili waweze kujiua two police came and caught them. Maaskari wakaja wakawashika and protected them. Wao wakawalinda wa. They had taken my mother my father to the police station and made them to sit call the newspaper and said Indian military officer. Wali wali. Ili walipowachukua wakawapeleka mpaka kituo cha polisi wakawaita waandishi wa habari ili kwamba waweze kuwahoji na cha ajabu ni kwamba kusema ilikuwa ni afisa wa kijeshi Indian military officer came to my with wife to commit suicide because he has a son who is making good money in Dubai not helping mother and father Jamani waandishi wa habari sasa pale ndio wakazipata hizo taarifa afisa huyu wa kijeshi staafu na na mke wake wanataka kujitupa katika bado waweze kujiua kisa ni kwa sababu mtoto wao anaishi Abu Dhabi hakuwapa pesa ya kuweza kuwasaidia I did not protect my mother and father but Lord Jesus protected them Alishikwa kuwalinda lakini Yesu Kristo ndiye ambaye aliwalinda God you and I is faithful. Lord Jesus is faithful. Lord Jesus protected my mother and father. Yule ambaye ametuita sisi ni mwaminifu. Ndiye aliyeweza kumlinda baba yangu na mama yangu. I did not take care of my mother and father, but Lord Jesus has taken care of them. Bibi sikuchukua ule uangalizi kwa ajili ya wazazi wangu, lakini Yesu alichukua uangalizi kwa ajili ya wazazi wangu. Baba yangu na mama yangu walikuwa wa Katoliki. But the Holy Spirit made them to 
receive the grace and they obey the word, they receive the gift of salvation, they have taken the word of God. Kwa kweli ni ajabu sana kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu alisababisha mpaka wazazi wake wakapokea neema hii ya Mungu na mpaka anapozunguka kwamba walibatizwa katika ubatizo wa maji mengi na sasa wameokoka. Baba yake alifariki na amekwenda ametwaliwa na Bwana Yesu. Baba yake mimi bado yuko hai. Baba yake yeye ni mwaminifu kama hivyo jinsi ambavyo mimi na wewe tuko. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kusudi la maisha ni kulitukuza jina la Bwana. You are here for a purpose. Uko hapa kwa ajili ya kusudi. Hebu sisi. Hebu tusimame wote mbele za uwepo wa Bwana. I do not know what is your problem. Uko hapa kwa ajili ya kusudi maisha. I do not know what are your challenges. Mimi sijui mapito yako yanayopitia. I do not know what are the problems that you are facing today. Mimi sijajua kusudi lile ulonalo kwa siku ya leo. We have the Lord Jesus in the house of God. Tunaye Yesu Kristo katika nyumba hii ya leo. Lord Jesus is a mighty God. Yesu Kristo ni Mungu mkuu. Yesu Kristo anajua chochote kile ulichonacho. He knows what you need. Yeye anajua unachokihitaji. When I was in pain. Problem. Ninapokuwa katika maumivu au matatizo. Lord Jesus help me. Yesu Kristo hunisaidia. Holy Spirit help me. Roho Mtakatifu hunisaidia. Holy Spirit is going to help you. Yeye Roho Mtakatifu anakwenda kukusaidia. Lord Jesus is going to help you. Yesu anapenda kukusaidia. Purpose of life is to glorify the name of Jesus. Kusudi la maisha ni kulitukuza. Do not be afraid. Usiogope. Do not worry. Usio usichoke. About your challenges. Usiogope kuhusu mapito yako. Say this prayer with me. Hebu omba maombi haya pamoja nami. Jesus. Yesu. He is the Lord of my life. Wewe ni Bwana wa maisha yangu. I believe in Jesus. Inaamini katika Yesu. Jesus died for me on the cross. Yesu Kristo alikufa kwa ajili yangu msalabani. Yesu Kristo alikufa kwa ajili yangu msalabani. Baada ya siku tatu. Wewe ulifufuka. Jesus is the risen savior of the world. Yesu yeye ndiye mwokozi wa ulimwengu wote. Ina niega zote ile chakapoto zangu zote kwa Inazileta matatizo yangu yote kwa Yesu yuhai ndani yangu mimi Kusudi la maisha yangu is to glorify the name of Jesus. Ikulitukuza jina la Yesu. I love you Jesus. Nakupenda Yesu. I'm free in Jesus. Mimi niko huru katika jina la Yesu. I'm blessed in Jesus. Mimi nibarikiwa kwa mwako Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu nimeomba. Amen. Amen.